Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Mujo Guo from uh, Georgia Washington University, uh, Department of Statistics. Uh, our, uh, today, our, uh, the presentation title of our work is Bayesian Iterative Prediction and Lexical-Based uh, Interpretation for Disturbed Chinese Sentence Pair Matching. Uh, so let's look at background. Uh, sentence pair matching is a can LP task using uh, web search, uh, take the similarity retrieval, and intelligence customer service. Uh, the sentence uh, pair matching task is discriminative NLP task uh, for its generative large language models are not designed. Uh, even though the GPTs are more and more powerful, uh, but uh, it's very hard and uh, very costly for the small business to deploy such a big model. So in real life, uh, the in, in real life world, uh, the transformer encoder based deep learning models uh, are still very popular and uh, they are very uh, and the uh, small, especially for the small uh, company. Uh, so improving the modern performance and uh, interoperability is crucial for industry application and trust in AI. Uh, so our data from a uh, uh, large scale Chinese question uh, pair, uh, uh, Chinese question matching corps, uh, which is sourced from the Chinese website Baidu Knows. And the Baidu team also added uh, perturbations, uh, techniques, and uh, uh, the standard uh, rationals uh, to the data set. So let's look at the example of this uh, data. Uh, so given a sentence pair, uh, the first sentence is called query, and the, uh, and the second one is called title. Uh, our model's task has two steps. The first step is to make prediction uh, whether the two sentences are similar or not. A second step is to uh, provide the inter interpretation. The interpretation of the sentence pair matching task is to uh, provide which tokens are important for the model judging. And uh, the model should uh, provide the importance ranking of the tokens in the two sentences. Uh, so we need to focus on the, so to, to evaluate the framework, we need to focus on the model prediction and the model interpretation. So here is the uh, uh, framework. Uh, framework. Uh, there are four contributions. Uh, the first one is uh, added distance weighted fine tuning is for the model's uh, training. Uh, the second one is Bayesian iterative prediction is for uh, the inference or the prediction process. Uh, the, sec uh, the third one is lexical based interpreter. It's called door ranking. This is for the model interpretation. And the last one is, is, is uh, noise uh, reduction. It's, uh, the goal is to enhance the uh, model's interpretation. And all the things together uh, they can enhance the uh, industry uh, in industry applications such as uh, web-based intelligence customer service. And I will introduce the four contributions one by one. Uh, the first one, I did this in the weighted fine tuning. Uh, the motivation is that uh, not all data in sentence pair matching training is equally important. Uh, so what kind of data is easy for the model to learn? Uh, the web conference is a good conference. The web conference is a great conference. So the two sentences are very easy to learn for the model because there is only one of uh, different words in the two sentences. Uh, in example two, uh, Singapore is a big, uh, is a beautiful country. Uh, Universal Studio Singapore has a special evening event tonight. So these two sentences has a totally different textual features and they have totally different, uh, uh, different uh, uh, semantics, so it's also very easy for the model to learn to learn it because the model can easily to uh, to know that the two sentences have have the different meanings. And what kind of data should the model pay more attention to? Uh, so here are two examples of uh, uh, Mayor's biggest type indicator. Uh, for example, uh, my MBTI is ENFP. My MBTI is INFP. Uh, even though there is only one later difference in the two sentences, but the meanings of the two sentences are totally different. And uh, example two also, uh, even though uh, uh, you, uh, even though the textual features of the two sentences are totally different, but uh, they have the exactly same meaning. So those kinds of data are very difficult for the model to learn. So the model needs to pay more attention to them. Uh, so that's why we proposed the edit and weighted fine tuning. Uh, this fine tuning focuses the model on data where semantic similarity diverges from textual similarity. Uh, so it can encourage the model to prioritize learning semantics over textual features. So for the sentence pairs with this similarity, uh, the more textual features, uh, the, the more, uh, the more uh, similar uh, textual features, the more attention the model should pay to them. And for the sentence pair with similar meanings, uh, the rule is offset. 
And the weight can be added to the uh, training loss to make the model to prioritize learning semantics. Uh, the second uh, method is called uh, based on iterative prediction. Uh, the, the idea behind this is very uh, easy. So for each data, uh, the, prediction, the predicted score for a similar data can provide the prior information, or the prediction of itself can serve as likelihood value. So uh, for example, if the uh, data number one is we are interested uh, is uh, what we are interested. Uh, the the model will give a prediction score p1 for the sentence pair number one, but we didn't use the p1 to generate the prediction label directly. Uh, instead, we first we find the similar sentence pairs and use the uh, prediction scores of the similar sentence pairs to serve as a prior information or prior probability, and then. Uh, the P1 can serve as a likelihood value. Uh, we, and then we just use the uh, Bayesian uh, equation to uh, calculate the posterior uh, probability based on the uh, likelihood value and the prior information. And this uh, posterior probability can serve as the likelihood value for the next round prediction. So by repeating this precise uh, until, the, until the, uh, the, the labels converge, and, the, and, and then uh, this is called the Bayesian iterative prediction. Uh, the, third, the third one is lexical-based uh, door ranking. This is for the model interpretation. Uh, the, motiva uh, the, motiva uh, the motivation here is that not all words are equally important in interpretation. Uh, so for the traditional interpretation method, like a uh, gradient-based uh, method or the sharp or the lame, uh, or the lamb, uh, they think all the uh, they, uh, they treat all the tokens equally at the beginning, uh, but it's not true, because uh, if we uh, read a sentence, we may pay more attention to the name of work or name of person in the sentence, but we pay less attention to uh, the punctuations, the uh, conjunctions, for example. So, uh, so that's why we uh, introduce the door ranking. So for the first uh, ranking or first sorting, uh, we introduce the lexical category scores. These scores can be generated uh, by the uh, lexical analysis of Chinese. It's uh, Baidu uh, tools. And for the second sorting, uh, we just use the traditional uh, interpretation method. For example, we can use the LAM rank score. And uh, the last one is uh, denoising strategy. Uh, it's a, it, this strategy is optional and uh, Mm, it's on, it, the, the goal is to enhance the uh, robustness of the interpretation. So there are three steps. Uh, first of all, first of all, we build the sentence, uh, sentence database, and then we establish the criteria based on the frequencies in the sentence deb database. And uh, finally, we do automated rational uh, adjustment to make the uh, interpretation of query and the title align well. Uh, so let's look at the prediction results. So given uh, so given uh, a transformer-based model, for example, MacBird, if we add the uh, added density, uh, added density weighted fine tuning, the accuracy can improve by 1.5 uh, absolute uh, point approximately. Uh, if we continue uh, adding the Bayesian iterative prediction uh, algorithm, uh, the accuracy can improve. Uh, 1.5 uh, absolute value uh, additionally. So, uh, so our model can, uh, so our methods uh, can increase the accuracy uh, by more than three absolute values approximately, and uh, also uh, the framework uh, can improve all, all the other metrics. So here is a, a example of interpretation result. So for the uh, door ranking method, the first ranking is based on uh, lexicality, and second uh, ranking is based on uh, LAM rank. And uh, the second sorting is based on the result of the first sorting. And uh, the, last, last, uh, the last line is denoising, it is the interpretation after denoising. So we can see that uh, the token word uh, will be more important than the other three tokens at the, uh, in the end. And uh, uh, the interpretation of the title uh, uh, now is uh, align uh, well with the uh, query. Uh, so the, uh, this is the interpretation result. And uh, we found that uh, we can ju uh, just uh, adding the lexical information can improve the uh, interpretation result greatly. Yeah, 
Thank you.